As gaffs go, makes was nothing in comparison to this one from Andreas Mikkelsen. In the rush to get his extra light put off the Hyundai, Andreas had forgotten something. We'll tell you in just a second. Bonnet up, and with no way of hearing his co-driver either, Andreas surprisingly only lost 26 seconds peering through that bonnet. Don't try this at home, will you? Mads Osberg has one more chance to beat the Collins Crest record of 45 metres. Here we go. Oh, surely 42 metres in the first pass, and that was even bigger. But it's still not enough. News filtering through of Osberg's final effort. It was spectacular and close, but it's just short of Brynjolfsson's record again. 44 metres and one short for a frustrated Mads. The old match Tanner Kanoji on stage 13, but whereas his big off on Friday was blamed on the car, this one was down to him. Look away if you get dizzy watching the washing machine on the spin cycle. Oi, Tanak had a new gearbox fitted for Saturday afternoon. He clunked the gearbox up to sixth, took a deep breath, and said hello to the rev limiter. And down here, he must have felt like reaching for seventh gear on this enormous straight. When does he break? Just there, but not by much. Hyundai must have thought that their bad luck was over, but it wasn't. And very soon, their championship would be. That heavy thud was the sound of Thierry Nerville's front suspension breaking. Here it was again, the harmless-looking corner. There. The Hyundai later said had completely eradicated their championship hopes. So Thierry Nerville enjoying the biggest lead of the weekend. But then, suddenly, it all evaporated into the night sky above the Karlstad Super Special. A double impact. And Nerville had succumbed. He was no more than a passenger in a toboggan ride. Another Frenchman, Quentin Gilbert, hopes one day to emulate Ogier. Not like this, he won't. He planted his Skoda nose first into the famous Faf Sand. The crowd, they loved it. They had a new hero. The sump guard bit the dust. The rest of the Fabia rolled on and on and on. The time began to look good for Elvin Evans. Nerville stared on. He just couldn't bear it. It could be the worst day of his life. Or Evans had been up on the clock right at the top of the stage. But here, where it counted, victory got away. Red numbers on the timing board. Bad news, Elvin. Disappointment at M Sport. Happiness at Hyundai. Their man had done it again. How would he tackle? Well, you don't have to be mad to compete in this sport, but it helps. <laughs> He's a maniac. <laughs> Chris Meek moments away from a first Mexico victory. Caroline tight shot. Five no sign of backing off from Meek. A big, big jump. And he wants right this. To Freud, double tight and Jesus Christ, Chris. Oh, no. oh, Chris, not now. Chris is disorientated in the car park. But as they get back on the stage, maybe they can still hold on to the win. 37 seconds in hand, remember. But the clock is ticking. It's heart in mouth stuff. Panic station slow down inside the car. Crest. Front left on out slightly off the rim, but he can still do this. Holy yes! Jesus Christ, Chris! And a chance now to see what on earth has just happened. 
Sweeping right-hander has a compression, a fraction too much speed. We've got to go over here. Bounced off the road, and what followed was almost comical as Meek turned the wrong way and got himself okay, lost in the car park. Go on, jump. Go on, fly. Go straight up. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.